So this story is brought to you by Forbes and I thought this story was very interesting and this may be an eye opener, opener to you but it looks like Netflix could be in quite a lot of trouble in the upcoming years. What am I talking about? Well if you know anything about streaming services then you'll know there is a new streaming service about to release this year. It's called Disney Plus and basically what's going on in the space of streaming services it looks like Netflix could be in a lot of trouble and this could actually hurt Netflix in the long run and it could even in the long run possibly even make Netflix go broke but let's talk about this story anyway because I think this story is very interesting first of all we have to talk about Netflix as a company so last year Netflix spent around 12 billion dollars when it comes to uh, making Netflix originals and buying licensing to shows to put on the Netflix platform. So you can see it's either go big or go home for Netflix. They don't mess around when it comes to bringing content to the actual company. So you can see they spend a lot of money. We're not talking about some small company here. And then in 2019, it's estimated that they're going to be spending another $15 billion in content. And ultimately, this is not good for Netflix because between last year and between this year's amount of spending for Netflix, it does mean Netflix is already in financial debt. They've been in debt for quite some time now apparently and it looks like they have $10.4 billion of debt. Yes, you heard me correctly. $10.4 billion of debt. So you can see they're a company that spends big but also is in very trouble when it comes to debt. Apparently, they like spending so much money that they don't even have that they're already neck deep in a debt that they already have to pay off. It also makes you wonder how Netflix is actually in business in 2019 with so much debt tied to their name. I don't understand honestly and it really boggles my mind how are they still uh, in business. So that's pretty much what Netflix is in. They're in a deep load of crap when it comes to being in debt right now. $10.4 billion is not a small amount. Now let's talk about Disney Plus specifically. So Disney Plus was a service that uh, Disney already announced a couple of years ago and they wanted to start a true competitor to Netflix because they think they can actually do a bigger and better a job of having a streaming service than Netflix. Now this service coming out from Disney is going to cost, get it, $6.99 and that's way, way cheaper than what Netflix already provides but honestly like I said since Netflix is in already a lot of debt 10.4 billion dollars there's really no way they can make the price cheaper of Netflix they really do have to make it higher and you guys know a while back Netflix did actually raise their pricing but that's understandable since they pretty much are in debt at this point and that pretty much explains why they actually raised the price of Netflix since they're in so much debt but anyway that's something that Disney Plus does have going for it, it has the the fact that it is going to be a very cheap alternative to uh, Netflix when this thing actually uh, launches. And then you do have to realize in 2018, some of the best uh, box office hits at the box office were all Disney films. Believe it or not, actually, uh, uh, all of the uh, top five selling uh, box office hits were Disney films, except for one, which is absolutely crazy. So let's let me. Uh, tell you which five box office hits were actually at the box office last year that were all Disney films. We have Avengers Infinity War, Black Panther, Jurassic World, Incredibles, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. So out of the top best selling movies of last year in the top five, only one of them were not a Disney film. That was actually Jurassic World. So basically what I'm saying is you can see people go crazy for Disney properties because so many people love, love, love Disney uh, properties, but they do have a lot of good films to back up their name and they really do make these quality films. So I get why so many people want to watch their movies. Their movies are flat out phenomenal. There's no denying that. So that definitely helps out, helps out Disney as well. Just the fact that they do make quality products and they make some of the best selling uh, products of like all time. They're just flat out phenomenal in that department. And then you guys also know one thing that's actually helping out Disney as we speak is the fact that lately Disney been buying a lot of different properties 
properties and they've actually bought two of the biggest properties of all time a long time ago and that definitely helps so of course they do have the two biggest properties of all time which is Marvel Marvel Comics they bought out you guys know and then of course Star Wars and Marvel and Star Wars are some of the biggest properties of all time period that's not even an argument at this point and with those with those two backing up their name they do have a lot to offer and people are going to want to go to Disney Plus to sign up just because well they are going to have a lot tied to their name when it comes to actual content so they have content to back up their name but here's some other uh interesting different studios or different content that they actually have under their name that you might not even be aware of so of course they own pixar since they've been owning pixar since the 90s or for a long time they have pixar they have espn national geographic modern family and the simpsons of course the simpsons is owned by fox and of course recently they did buy out fox so overall you can see they have more tied to their name than just disney properties if it wasn't for uh, other stuff besides Disney properties, if they just strictly owned their own Disney properties, this wasn't this wouldn't be as big of a deal as it uh, currently is. But I think with them owning a lot of different properties, whether we're talking about Marvel Marvel films, Star Wars, The Simpsons, ESPN. Uh, modern family things like that they have a lot to their name and ultimately this is going to give netflix a run for their money and one thing that definitely is not going to help netflix out is the fact that since disney is starting their own streaming service they are going to be pulling a lot of content from uh netflix in the upcoming months because they do own like i said marvel and they do own star wars and they do own fox so whatever is owned with owned uh from Fox or whatever owns from uh, Star Wars or Marvel is going to be pulled from Netflix and ultimately what that what does that mean it does mean that Netflix is going to have less content and on top of that they'll have a lot of great content some of the best content of all time and then keeping uh, consideration it's only going to be $6.99 for this content and Forbes does actually make a really good strong argument in this uh, actual article one thing you do have to keep in mind is what happens if a movie actually comes out at the box office since it is Disney and Disney owns a lot of different things outside of movies. They own the Disney theme parks. They also own the old Disney Disney movie movies uh, like Mickey Mouse and things like that. And then, of course, they probably own some video games as well. And who knows what behind the scenes Disney actually owns because Disney may own more than you actually know. But the problem with all of this really does seem like they can make their own content as well. And ultimately, this is going to hurt Netflix if they have so much money in the bank. They can start making Disney originals. And on top of that, going back to what Forbes was actually talking about in this article specifically, they were talking about if they uh, have these movies that come out on the box office they can actually have these movies premiere day one on Disney as well because they'll be like well it's not really going to hurt us it's just going to make us more money because either way you look at it even though we're going to have movies coming out at the movie theater and having them come out the same day on Disney plus if they choose to do that is the fact that it's going to their company as a whole so either way it's helping them so ultimately the question in this video is is Netflix going to be really hurt by Disney plus coming along and how much of Netflix profits are going to be taken away from Disney now when when this thing comes out of course Netflix is not going to go under and I'm, I'm assuming it's going to take a very long time for Netflix to go under if they eventually ever do go under from Disney Plus becoming a thing but just just by Disney Plus becoming its own streaming services no matter what is going to hurt Netflix uh, in the long run and I think this is one of the most interesting stories out there just because if you look at Disney and what Disney has to offer I think this is one of the biggest issues out there because before this, uh, before Disney Plus come along uh, for Netflix, Netflix really didn't have all that great competition. Sure, we had things like uh, HBO Go, we also had Hulu, but those didn't really have all too much to bring to the table. But now that Disney has so many properties attached to its name and so much stuff that's going to be offered on it, and on top of that, it's going to be a cheaper alternative to Netflix. Who knows how many people are actually going to be unsubscribing from Netflix to go to uh Disney Plus when Disney Plus actually comes out this year. Now granted Netflix is actually responding to this and of course we all know Netflix at this very moment is worried about Disney Plus coming along so it's not like they're just sitting there and watching what Disney Plus is doing and actually doing nothing for their company. Like I said this year they are spending 15 billion dollars in Netflix originals and licensing fees to get more content on Netflix. So as you can see since Disney Plus is coming along. It really does seem like Netflix is beefing up their content selection and 
their value of their company and what they have to bring to the table. But like I said again, with them being in debt and with Disney Plus uh, coming along, it's very interesting to see the future of Netflix and see what Netflix is going to be in the next couple of years. Very interesting stuff. Anyway, guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News signing out.